morning, Polly. Today is Thursday, September 19th, 2024. I'm Savannah Taylor. And I'm Emily Chan. Are you excited for club day today? I'm so excited. Join my cousin's club, Juggling Club. It's so much fun and it's awesome. My cousin John runs it. The Foundation for Climate Restoration, F4CR, is launching their youth initiative dedicated to a new era of climate action. If you're passionate about being a youth leader, see Mrs. Bond's Schoology announcement for more information. A group of parents is looking to train the next generation of JV football announcers. If interested, your obligation would be to come to home games starting October 11th and learn how to run the equipment and how to effectively announce football games. You can earn service hours for your work. If interested, see Mr. Satterthway in Mac 204 or email him at rsatterthway at pausd.us. Spirit Week is less than a month away. This means that class dances practices are starting. Check out your Poly class Instagram for more information on dances. Ever wonder if you're smarter than a fifth grader? It might not be as easy as you think. In Focus reporter Lucas Puebla took the halls to find out how well Poly students can answer grade school level questions. Let's see how they did. What's up, Pally? I'm your host, Lucas, and today we're gonna try to figure out are you smarter than a fifth grader? Me and my crew are gonna go around campus asking Pally students a series of questions trying to see how many correct answers we could find. Let's get to it. I'm here with Dylan Leo. Question of the day, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Yes, 100%. What is the largest continent in the world? Um, that would have to be Europe. You failed, buddy. I'm here with Andre. <laughs> What's the largest continent in the world? Oh, gosh. I have no idea. Continent? Alabama? I don't know. I'm here with? Maya. What is the largest continent in the world? Um, I want to say North America, but then I also want to say Africa. I'm very smart. I believe it. All right, I'm here with Tazio. What's the largest continent in the world? Oh, um, <laughs> Africa? <laughs> oh, uh, America. <laughs> I'm here with Brian. Julia. What's the largest continent in the world? Africa. Really? Is it not then Antarctica? I'm here with Harrison. All right, question of the day. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Yeah, I think so. Okay. What's the largest continent in the world? Asia. I'm here with Ashley, Helen, Clay. What is the largest bone in the human body? Pelvis, spine. The spine is multiple little bones, vertebrae. The, the first one. <laughs> <laughs> the big <laughs> leg, thigh bone. Thigh bone. bone. <laughs> What is the largest bone in the human body? Is it the femur? I'm here with Michael. What is the largest bone in the human body? I don't know. I'm here with Jesse. Lily. What is the largest bone in the human body? Is it like, is it like femur? Yeah, I think it's femur. femur? All right, hold on. All right, tricky one, tricky one, tricky one. What is the longest river in America? Mississippi. What is the longest river in America? The the Nile River. <laughs> I said America, brother. <laughs> I go lie. Skip, 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 skip. I'm here with Ramon. What is the longest river in America? Longest river in America. Nile? America. Oh, that's true. I didn't hear that. Um, damn. Now I'm thinking about this one. Longest river in America. I cannot, I'm, I'm out of, I can't think right now. Lock in. What is a flock of crows called? Um, yeah, uh, a feather, feather, flock of a feather. What is a flock of crows called? Um, a murder. What is a flock of crows called? A murder. Okay, okay, okay. What is a flock of crows called? I don't know. What's a flock of crows called? A bird. <laughs> what, like, um, a group, 
a gathering. I think we're gonna end that one right there, guys. Yeah. That's yeah, sad. Yeah, yeah. This pretty much sums up our video, Pally, which actually brings me to my next question. How common is common sense? Mmm, I'm gonna let y'all sit and reflect on that one. This is your host, Lucas, signing off. And until next time, I will see you all later. Remember, have a great day and stay classy. Thank you, Vikings. Goodbye. Thanks, Lucas. That does it for today's show. Follow us on social media at InFocus News to engage with our content and visit our website to view today's campus bulletin. Until next time, I'm Emily Chan. I'm Savannah Taylor, and this has been InFocus News. Have a great day, Vikings.